So it's Vieri. Better hide. Keep looking! He couldn't have gotten far! Come in. Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait, uh, that came out wrong. Come here. Oh, oh it's you. Christina! Christina! Svelia! Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Chiedo venia! I'll kill you! No, no. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! No! Guards! There's really no need for violence. You have me confused with someone else. She needed some help with some things. I'm mostly innocent. Mercenary, I suppose. I'll distill that elixir of Cavoli, Rafe! Good morning, Father. Come with me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done.
Ah, Ezio, ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid. And not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. I have quite a few different accessories, too. Things you may not know you need. Keep up the good work. Biscuit all. <laughs> you worry too much, Giovanni. Ah. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Arpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. Ma che fai? Ma dai, ma taglielo! Io sta pugna!
before. Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Oh, Virbante! Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio! Mm. Mm. Hey, Lurido Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! Ma che te piglia! You insult my sister. Parading around with his puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her. Or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. You auditores all talk me. But when it comes time for action, ha! You'll regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! from my sister. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. 
I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? So Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, Art, was it? Truth be told, it's painting for me to sell. Painting is nice, but I Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anchio. Ezio! What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, when you go back inside, Yes, I promise. Promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will. In time. Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? Oh, 
concerning the Republic's power. Here, over here. I have a delivery from Giovanni Alatore? Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait! Come back! Explain yourself! You Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. Least I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> 